Hey guys, Anfinim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, and this is uh, some random episode of Seed Showcase. I don't even know what number it is anymore, so it's not even really worth saying, but if you guys want the seed to this world, as always, it is going to be in the description below. But uh, as I'm sure you guys have probably guessed by now, considering it is in the title, this is not going to be your ordinary episode of Seed Showcase. Uh, the world itself that you guys are looking at here is pretty neat looking, you know, in the whole normal areas and stuff. Uh, this is actually really close to the spawn point it's only about a couple hundred blocks off if we take a look around here i mean you know it is it is all really neat there's a whole bunch of like floating rocks and i mean even over here like this one is purely floating and i'm sure if we keep going off in this direction uh i'm not sure which direction there would be but i mean yeah i mean there is still some really interesting stuff but this isn't exactly what i wanted to be showing you guys today uh, for those of you who saw my Twitter a couple weeks ago, I posted this really neat image what looked like a spaceship uh, next to the Far Lands. So let's head over there. Um, I should probably turn the F3 menu off for this. But uh, before you go to the Far Lands, I recommend typing in the command drops. Uh, if you have single player commands, which you really should, and you kind of need it in order to do this. Uh, and this will uh, disable items from being able to be dropped in Minecraft, because that is the main problem as to why the far lands lag so much, because of a gravel glitch that goes on there. Man, even over here, I mean, this is giant, like, hole in the ground. I, w I bet that's a, probably a pretty good cave system. Here's the coordinates. Uh, there you go. So check out the seed and check out that cave system. And then afterwards, let's uh, let's type in Telly and then the Far Lands coordinates, which is 12,550,800. And I'll go by 120. 12,550,800. And let's teleport there. And it does take a little bit to load, obviously. Okay, so it looks like I'm above cloud level here. So let's dip below the land here. So as you can see, and the, it, the lighting takes a little while to adjust, and actually, usually when you originally teleport to a place, uh, the lighting doesn't adjust right away. I think the lighting's actually proper right there, though. But as you can see, there's this giant spaceship thing that's right here. Oh, there we go. The lighting's all good now. And if you go to go around to the other side, it actually looks really broken on the other side. Like, it doesn't look like really anything right there. So it, it's kind of weird that this just kind of naturally spawns this way. But this also is not the reason why I'm showing you guys this particular seed. Uh, this is probably the best looking uh, far lands I have ever seen. Now, I'm not talking about the side far lands that are like over here. I'm actually talking about the corner far lands that are in this corner here. Now, I haven't taken the time to actually check to see if the other corner far lands mimic quite what this look like. And uh, because I'm recording with Fraps, this is going to look really weird. I'm also going to type in the command light uh, just to uh, allow light that is underneath these cliff overhangs here to actually show up so it's not completely dark. But anyways, uh, so as you guys can see, if you take a look here, there the different levels of the Far Lands, for those of you that know about the Far Lands, it's separated into layers. Well, the layers are all kind of merged here. It's really quite weird looking, like as you can see here. Like, it, like I said, everything is just kind of merged, and I, I can't stress enough that uh, Fraps uh, causes my worlds to load really, really slow. But just take my word for it. Like, as you guys can see, like, there's three different layers of the Farlands here that are if just four different layers that you can really see from one place. And if I continue to go further out here, if uh, it will actually load, I don't think it's going to. Let me type in kill all here. Yes, even with the drops command set, uh, kill all is still a valuable thing to use. But yeah, so if we keep going on and on and on here, um, like I said, the different layers are separated. And I mean, you can really find some wacky areas. I don't think this is the wackiest layer. I think I need to go one layer down in order to find the really, truly wacky stuff. So let me continue going on here. I'm actually lucky to be getting the frame rate that I'm getting right now with the Far Lands. Uh, kill all. Yeah, I see 4,000 entities. Yeah, there we go. Here's a pretty awesome looking layer. Got lava coming from the from the wall over there. And I mean, seriously, it's just absolutely insane. And there goes a motorcycle because uh, this town that I live in never sleeps. But <laughs> wow, that jeez. That was a loud one. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, definitely check out the seed for yourself. I wanted to give you guys something sort of different, to, you know, to look forward to uh, for a seed showcase episode. I figured, you know, doing a uh, doing a Farlands uh, review would be kind of a weird concept and maybe definitely something you guys should check out. So, yeah, like, uh, once again, the required mods in order to do this is single player commands. And as you can see, I'm getting like no frames per second right now. Like I said, I do definitely have the drop commands on, but I still have to type in the kill all command. It is really 
really, really weird. And now I'm doing a solid 60 frames a second again. But yeah, anyways, guys, uh, be sure to check this out for yourself. The mods you need, is, or you just need single player commands for this. And uh, you should be all set. And you do need a pretty decent computer at the same time. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this particular video, although short. My name is Antvenom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.